If you told me I'd be the slider I am today when I was younger, I probably would have never believed you. I always dreamed big and loved the mountain riding, but I didn't think being a sledder was a real job, if you want to call it that. Once I learned you could be an ambassador and get paid to ride snowmobiles, I started to chase that dream a little harder. Let's be real, I'm no pro athlete. <laughs> I ended up finding my own niche, just doing what I love and sharing it with whoever wanted to tune in. Along that journey, I started to explore more areas and push farther and farther into the backcountry than ever before. Areas that had never seen the snow move before, accessible only by helicopter. Every time we had a successful mission, breaking into somewhere new, the stoke level was extremely high. At the same time, I was also terrified. We were pushing out into some extremely remote and treacherous areas where any number of things could go wrong. But the main thing that was always on my mind was avalanches. I was never too worried about small slides going into these places. It was big terrain, and if something big were to let go, that was it. So we always made sure to play our cards right. Sometimes that meant waiting a whole season before heading into an area, or like last year, not at all. That's also part of what makes these adventures so rewarding. They're so few and far between. Whether it's waiting for the avi conditions to line up and praying for that bluebird day. The things we do in the places we go sometimes just can't be planned. All of our best adventures have had the least amount of planning. Sometimes when you try and plan things in the mountains, the mountains have a funny way of saying, sorry, not today. But whatever the mountains throw at us, we'll always make the best of it and keep chasing the first tracks. <laughs>